Welcome to the Tie-Dye Rye Guy Mycology Adventure Channel. I am Rye, and I am going to be doing an experiment. I've got three different types of grain. I've got rye, of course. I've got white popcorn and millet. Now I've got these bags here, and I'm going to hydrate each one of these grains individually. And I'm going to add them to the grain bag, and I'm going to sterilize some Master's Mix as a substrate. This is from Mushroom Media Online, the fast fruiting mix. There'll be a link for that below. And we're gonna mix them together and fruit them, see who does better. So I got two different culture syringes from North Spore. One is Lion's Mane, one is Pink Oysters. So I'm gonna boil some water and get these hydrated. See you in a minute. Give me a stir. Alright. Alright, right. so we're gonna start with the master's mix. Master's mix is a 50-50 of hardwood, in this case oak, and 50% soy holes. And they're in a pellet form as well. So we're going to need to rehydrate them in the bags while we're pressure cooking them to sterilize them. So we got just a little, little wood guys here. You can feed these into your wood stove. I wouldn't recommend it. It might sink a little bit, soy holes. So we're going to get these weighed up into the bag. The recipe I'm going to use is five cups of dry pellets and that's going to go mixed with 1400 milliliters of boiling water. So once we get all the boiling water in there, I can seal them up, throw them in the pressure cooker for two hours with the grains and sterilize everything at once. Some of these bags are gonna be all in one. And then I'm gonna fit in the other grain and then the substrate. We're gonna get these bags inoculated with the lion's mane. So for our hydrating, we're going five cups of hardwood fuel pellets and 1400 milliliters of water. I use my Vitamix because um, it has the lines on there for me so I can see them. Uh -huh. Ta -da. All right, I'm gonna fill it up to that line. They're all getting 1400. This thing will only do a thousand. So I'm going to do 700 at a time with this, and I'm going to be boiling water off the camera. But this way it looks really nice. You like that, guys? This will be pressure cooked for two hours. Fold over the flaps to cover the filter, and then I'm going to tuck it underneath. And then we're going to wrap it with a rubber band, stick it in the pressure cooker. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these bags done now. Now that we've hydrated our grain, I got bricks. I've been stacking bricks. One of these bricks is heavier than the other two somehow, and I measured everything out perfectly, I thought. So the two rise are gonna run one with a little heavier substrate ratio, see how it performs. If it's even worth noting, probably not. So we're gonna run 
uh, popcorn and millet by themselves. Popcorn is still bubbling. 15 minutes later. Love popcorn, but man, I should be instapotting it. Let's see. I don't know if you guys are seeing, we got a winter storm happening and pull in some juice and it's overloaded. My guess was two of these cups is going to be about a pound and a half. Let's see. And I was wrong, it's a pound, so it's maybe a little more. So that's perfect. Go for two pounds of millet, four pounds of substrate. You can go a lot larger ratio. You can do a one to ten with the gourmet sometimes. I just want this to colonize fast and have some fruit relatively quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and run this. This is getting Settling. All right, mill it down. Right time. Popcorn is going to take another 20 minutes. All right, let's get that one. One, two, three, so four. Four and a half. Oh, it was five. All right. All right. I'm going to let you steam off over here. You're going to get mixed with a block. All right, I'm still stirring popcorn. We have now bagged up the millet and the rye. <laughs> my mouth. 10 more minutes. Love you, popcorn. All right, now that we got the substrate hydrated, we got the grains hydrated, I'm going to mix uh, one of these substrates into the rye first. There's one that was heavier, so I'm double checking these again. And this one looks like it's a little chunkier. Yes, five and a half pounds instead of four and a half, so a whole pound heavier. So I'm gonna make note of that. That is a six pound wood lover fruiting block with grains. Let me get this sterilized. And then we're going to get it in the box and get it out. 